to deal with the pandemic in 2020, but also a record-breaking tropical season. Of the 30 storms that developed, 12 made landfall in the United States, breaking the old record of nine in one season. As Spectrum 13 certified meteorologist Mallory Nichols explains, that has prompted changes into how storms are named. Relentless. I mean, I mean think of a word um, to, to describe 2020, relentless is, is the word. The year 2020 kept the meteorological world busy. Just ask Ken Graham, the director of the National Hurricane Center in Miami. I mean, 30 named storms are the most that we've had in 170 years of record keeping. So it was an incredibly busy season. Or ask Virginia Johnson, a Spectrum News reporter in Tampa. She saw firsthand the power of Tropical Storm Ada. The late season storm, named using the Greek alphabet, was one of two landfalls in Florida last season. This was, you know, almost like, oh, the remnants. It's been so many other places and caused so much harm. Surely it won't be bad here. But the flooding is where the flooding is, man, and it happened. Tropical Storm Ada showed, hurricane or not, tropical systems can pack a punch. I look down at my feet on the river walk, and there are fish swimming across my feet and i just thought i this is no i mean are we living right with nature each year tropical cyclones are identified by a 21 name rotating list put out by the world meteorological organization we had exhausted the annual list of names already by september 14th last year pushing the rest of the storms for the season into the greek alphabet including ada it's only the second time this was done, but also the last because of confusion. It distracted from the, the messaging. So I think it's a, it's, a, it's a better system. We'll have regular names that when we have an overflow situation. And with the average amount of storms each season increasing, we could potentially exceed the original list more often. So this season, we'll have a supplemental list from A to Z, excluding Q, U, X, Y, and Z. For reporters like Virginia Johnson, they just hope we don't get that far. You always feel like bad when you, people say, oh, we skirted that, we dodged that bullet, and thank, thankfully it moved on. I mean, I have family in Louisiana. Please don't thankfully move this on anywhere, you know? Let it dissipate and go underwater. Meteorologist Mallory Nichols, Spectrum News 13. The World Meteorological Organization also retired the names Ada and Iota to make sure that they don't show up as names on any lists again.